Hey, good day, Stewart's Chapel. Brother Don and Don are here with Noel, and we're at Noel's place, and we're in his sunroom, and uh, we're continuing our look at um, scriptures and individuals that concern season the moment. Yesterday we looked at Colossians chapter 4. This is today, Tuesday's, I'm sorry, Tuesday's devotion. And we're in Matthew chapter 16. This scripture was sent to me by one of you. One of you uh, sent this to me and told me, says, this is the scripture I think of when I want, when I realize I need to seize the day. And I thought it was a good scripture for us to look at. It's um, Matthew chapter 16, verse 24 and 25 and 26. Now, hear me. This scripture is found in several places in the Gospels. I've just chosen Matthew's. So it says, Then Jesus said to his disciples, If anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Now, one of the other places it's in the gospel, it talks about doing that daily, daily. For whosoever desires to save his life will lose it, but whosoever loses his life for my sake will find it. For what profit is it to a man if he gains the whole world and loses his own soul? Or what will a man give in exchange for his soul? Well, there's a lot in that passage, and... But studying Scripture in your quiet time is your job. My job is just to get your thoughts started and looking at a passage and get you thinking. And so that's why it's called a devotional and not a study. It's just a devotion. And we're talking about the importance of seizing the moment. Jesus turns to his disciples and he says, Look, if you're going to follow me, then you're going to have to take up your cross daily. You're going to have to seize your cross and you, my desire for your life daily. Um, those of us who know what it is to pick up our cross, well, especially people like me who have a ministry, we have the tendency to think that the ministry is the cross. It's not. My the cross is much bigger. It would be that's very narrow of me or of you to think that my ministry is my cross. No, my cross is that which brings me suffering or the possibility of suffering because I'm doing the will of God. Now my ministry that God has called me to is part of doing the will of God, but it's bigger than that. It's what I do when someone calls me. Do I act Christ-like or do I listen? Do I speak? I'm telling you right now, that, that's where I don't seize the moment well. Um, for today, it would be, I've been doing a lot of premarital counseling lately because of, I've got five weddings this month. And um, when you got that many weddings, you're talking to a lot of couples, and after a while, it all runs together. And, but the couple that I've been talking to here today, actually, um, the Lord is just now entering into their life. He's just now beginning to speak to them. And when I'm with them, I'm a, I'm a little bit more careful how I seize the moment. They're much more fragile. I wouldn't treat them as somebody that grew up in church all the time and knew all the words they they don't know a lot of scripture yet. So I, I treat them more tender. That is God's will for me in their life. But in your life, it might be carrying the cross, might be me rebuking or really challenging you, coming all across very strong and boldly. Hmm. Most of the time we don't want to do that. Why? Because we don't like the effects that it gives us. We don't like the stripes or the suffering that it might cause. And generally, we would rather... Well, you see, we, we pick up some sayings that the world offers to us, and we think they're in Scripture. For example, one of them is you can catch more flies with honey. Uh, that's not biblical. But sometimes we provide only honey. 
when we may need to provide salt. My brothers and sisters in Christ, I love you. And because I love you, I challenge you to seize the moment by picking up your cross, whatever it is that God desires for you to do at that moment, and to do it the way Christ would.